you guys welcome back to a new vlog today is friday i woke up so early today i woke up at like 7 that's early for me i usually wake up around like 8 30 i don't know for some reason i just felt so wide awake i think it was like the first time i got a good night's sleep in like a week so i woke up this morning with so much energy and i was just so motivated to do stuff i'm in a great mood it's friday and we have a fun day today so since i had a lot of energy i figured i'd exert it all into a workout so i just did a 30 minute ride with cody who else he's my favorite instructor and then i also did a 10 minute arms workout and that workout was a really good one i had to save it because i have never felt so sore during an arm workout that's done right now it is 9 30 and yeah today's gonna be fun because it's friday and my friends are coming over tonight and okay so this is like something we joke about all the time but me and my friends are i don't know why obsessed with the movie 365 on netflix only because it is so bad that it's so funny it's not the plot that we like because there is no plot if you see in the movie you know it's a hot mess there is no storyline but the thing is we love to laugh and we love corny movies so we've been talking about this third movie that's coming out tonight or i think it's already out on netflix but we've been talking about this for weeks and so we're having a little premiere party we're crazy it's just gonna be me and my two other uh, girlfriends and they're coming here and so i wanted to like do a little girls night and go get some like stuff from Trader Joe's for a charcuterie board and I also want to stop by home goods to get some stuff for the kitchen that I actually need um so today will be a fun vlog so yeah I'm gonna go eat breakfast and shower now and wow what do I do with all this time I'm not used to being done with a workout by by 9 30 so this is great hope you guys are all having a nice weekend or had a nice weekend I'll post this video probably Sunday or Monday. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. So yeah, let me go and get more water and eat some breakfast um, and start my day. Okay, my breakfast this morning is not going to be extravagant or fancy. Um, I have always liked these Jimmy Dean Delight uh, breakfast sandwiches. It is made with cheese, egg, and turkey sausage. I like it because it's pretty low-cal, high in protein, so that's good after a workout. It comes with four of them. So I'm just going to pop one of these in the microwave. I like to make these just like for a quick breakfast when I don't really um, feel like making or cooking breakfast. And it's just something different. I always eat avocado toast and oatmeal. I feel like this is something different. So, And I like to add sriracha to the sandwich for some flavor. Also some garlic salt for more flavor. This honestly kind of reminds me of Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwich like the English muffin one they have. Yeah, pretty similar. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Oh my God, I'm looking rough. Just ignore me, but there it is. Sometimes I'll eat this with a side of avocado or sometimes I'll put the avocado in the sandwich or like just eat it on the side, but we're gonna just wait. Mm-hmm. So good. I just showered, did my hair, skincare. I have a serious question for anyone out there watching that has had COVID and experienced hair loss because I have been seeing like on TikTok, I also read a couple articles online that said hair loss is a common like post COVID symptom and that it usually shows up one to two months after you have the infection. And I'm starting to notice every time I shower clumps of hair come out and i'm not gonna blame it on my like products and hair care routine because i changed absolutely nothing i've been using heat on my hair since i was 13. i've been using the same products the same shampoo everything has been the same and recently i think maybe in the past maybe the past month i've started no to notice when i'm in the shower like big clumps of hair will come out and it was so strange to me because i'll usually get clumps of hair that come out right when i get my hair dyed and I don't think I'm going to blame it on the dyeing my hair a lot too because it's been five months since I last dyed my hair. And I'll probably shed just a little bit for maybe like a few showers after I get my hair done. But never five months after getting my hair colored. And it's shedding way more than it used to um, or than it does when I get my hair colored. So I'm not going to contribute it to that either. I really think it's COVID because um, I did a lot of research. I also like saw a lot of people on TikTok talking about how um, hair loss is occurring after like as a long-term symptom and that lasts two to six months um, once you once it starts happening so I really think it's that but 
yeah, I want to know if anyone else out there is experiencing hair loss after COVID. Um, yeah, I had COVID June 6 is when I first had it. And then um, now it's August. And literally on the two month mark, I think is when it started, like when I started noticing it happen. Regardless, like it's not that bad. I mean, my hair still feels fine. I do feel like my hair is shorter though. Like I feel like usually at by this time, my hair would be super long since the last time I cut it for some reason and this is how I this is how I can tell I go like this and I like hold the ends of my hair usually it's like down to here I don't know if the hair loss is making my hair shorter but it really only happens when I'm in the shower washing it that's why I only wash my hair once a week now um but yeah I haven't changed anything in my routine I don't know I was reading like a bunch of scientific articles online on like these unreliable websites too like I was reading on Cleveland Cleveland Clinic and something.org this is what I learned working my corporate jobs in public health anything that is any website that ends in dot org or dot gov that's a reliable site if it's if it's dot com eh, I don't know you can't really like 100% know that it's accurate but if it's dot org or dot gov then it's 98% probably accurate information so anyway let me know in the comments if you guys are experiencing that but it's fine I also read online that um it should resolve between two to six months so now I'm wondering if I should cancel my appointment next month. I made an appointment next month to get my hair colored and I was planning on going back to dark hair, my natural hair, just cause I need to take a break from bleaching. But now I'm wondering if I should cancel that appointment and kind of just wait it out until the shedding is done. I think that's the best idea, right? So anyway, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to go to Home Goods right now. I need to buy um, a salt and pepper shaker because the one I have now is just so annoying. Um, it barely comes out when I like shake it and I have to literally like for like so long um, so I want to check that out I also know that they have the fall stuff in stock so I wanted to go check stuff out I'm not gonna buy any fall stuff now because I think we're moving so I don't know if I'm gonna do a fall apartment decor video because if we move it's most likely gonna be in October so I don't think it makes sense to set up a bunch of new decor. I'm going to just not touch the apartment decor until I either know whether we're staying here or moving. We're kind of undecided, but I think next, starting next week, we're going to start going on some apartment tours and um, seeing new places, which I will vlog, of course. But um, yeah, so we'll just go to Home Goods, see what they have. I showed this in my last vlog. I got this from Target. This is the Being Frenchie body, hair, and... Um, Linen Mist. This is Ashley Tisdale's line. I'm so obsessed. I spray this all over myself like four times a day. I will say though, I don't think it's that long lasting, but I'm just so obsessed with the scent. Maybe I need to get the little perfume because they make the little um, perfume bottle that's like a little bit smaller. Maybe that one lasts longer. I'll definitely have to check that out. It smells like a fresh, like fresh cinnamon, like a fresh fall. Cause it's kind of warm and sweet. So it's like fall fallish scent but it smells like clean if that makes sense it's not too sweet i was looking back at that clip that i just filmed in the bathroom and i hated how my hair looked i love side parts and everyone says it's a millennial thing like millennials like the side parts and gen zers like the middle parts i like both but what do you guys are you guys team side part or team middle part all of the Halloween stuff that they already have at home goods I think I'm more so just ready for like cooler weather and fall as in like the harvest and like September I don't think I'm ready for spooky season yet I feel like it's too soon but yeah they had a lot of stuff so if you're looking for that go to home goods I'm sure like Marshalls and all those type of stores have all that stuff already but um, I just picked up 
a few like basics. So I'll show you guys what I got. So first thing I got is a new cake stand because if you guys remember the vlog where I made that chocolate cake, I put it in the cake stand that I had and the lid was too low. The lid like went up to probably about here and that was a really tall cake. So basically it like smushed down on the cake and it made the icing come off. So I've been looking to get a new cake stand that has a taller lid. And I found this one at Home Goods. I thought it was so cute. I really like the base of it. It's like this kind of blonde wooden color. And it was $30. And I think the lid is a perfect size. And then it has a little stand there. So I don't know if I plan on baking any cake soon, but just nice to have on hand. I could also put like desserts in here, like cupcakes or I don't know, other pastries if I have them. Needed to get a new teapot. The one I have now, the handle kind of broke. So I've just been looking to get a new one. And I really like this one because first of all, it's a really pretty like shiny stainless steel, but also the handle. You can like press this thing and it stays open. Whereas the other one that I have, you have to like hold the lever so that it stays open. But this, you can just like, you know, hold it. And I like how it has like a... um. Like this is kind of rubber. The one that I have now, I always burn myself every time I touch the, the, the handle and I always have to wear like an oven mitt when I pour. But um, I think this one will be a lot better. So this one was, I think $20. And it just looks like a really pretty design. It says Italian style, that looked fancy. So yes, that is cute, love that. And then speaking of Italian, I got pasta because, okay, so I've been looking for a style of pasta and there's this girl on tiktok that posts cooking videos i forgot her name let me look it up edith is her name she posts the most delicious recipes and she always cooks with this type of pasta oh, i think this is it yes so i was looking for this pasta and people said that you can get it on amazon i think that's where she gets it but i heard or i saw in the comments um that you can get this type of noodle from like home goods too. So I looked and I couldn't find any, but I really want to get that shape of pasta. I think it's so cute. And it just looks like it's delicious to eat. But anyway, yeah, go check out Edith. She has like amazing videos. She's so big. Um, but anyway, so I couldn't find those noodles, but I picked up these ones instead just to get, I don't know, have cute noodles on hand. I think I really want to make some vodka penne. Well, not penne, but I guess vodka sauce pasta soon because that is like my favorite pasta. I haven't had it in forever. And I used to always make it on the vlog. So maybe one day in the vlog we'll make it and we'll use these. But yeah, these were five dollars. That's expensive for pasta, but I guess it's because it's premium pasta. And then okay, so I really wanted to get like popcorn holders because, like I said, my friends are coming over tonight. We're gonna have a little movie premiere night, so I wanted something cute to hold our popcorn in. So I got this set of two little like popcorn um, boxes. How cute are they? Okay, the only thing I don't like about it is <laughs> the font. Oh, I hate this font. This is like that, um, what brand is this? The one that everyone is so obsessed with. Ray Dunn, okay. I saw on social media, like maybe, was it like a year or two ago? And people were so obsessed over like all the dishware that has this font in front, that's from this brand. And I just never understood that hype. Um, I don't like the font, but we don't have to show that. You can just look at this side. And it's just so cute, it's ceramic. And how much was this? $24 for two. So I thought that would just be perfect for like movie nights. You know, not just tonight. We can use this anytime we watch a movie. That could be one for me, one for Anto when we have our movie nights. And that's all I got. Not that much. So I'm going to wash these. Um, wash this too. Oh, yeah, wash everything. <laughs> and I have to clean before my friends come. So right now it's two. Oh, just kidding. It's 3.18. I didn't realize how late it was. Um, but I think my friend's coming out 5.30. We're going to Trader Joe's to get stuff for the charcuterie board and we're gonna get like appetizers and like small like eats like that um, for us to eat during the movie. Um, so until then, I'm gonna clean. I have to fold laundry. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I hate that clean pile that just, that's been sitting there for probably two days, but I've just been so busy. Um, so today we're gonna fold that. Um, I don't have to clean much. I'm just gonna clean up the living room like vacuum and clean the kitchen a little bit. And that's it.
I'm currently meeting my friend at Trader Joe's. We're gonna get stuff for movie night. I'm trying to find her car. She said she's at the gas station. Oh, I see her. Oh, she's pulling into the pump. Okay, yeah, she's gonna go to the gas station. I'll wait for her at Trader Joe's. So yeah, we're gonna buy stuff for tonight. I wanna buy some cheeses and some fruits and stuff to make a cute little charcuterie board. I should make my list while I wait for her because I actually have no idea what I'm getting. I ran out of milk. <laughs> Yo, we are so funny. Hey, Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to After see you so again. Hello. Oh, have you tried their pancake bread? No, but I've heard of it's it. It's so good. Okay, let's, okay, let's try this. Mmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't need bagels. <laughs> I love bagels. <laughs> me and Ida are so funny we're like a hot mess like every time we're like together and we go out somewhere we're always like in confusion we're all we're always so like dazed and delusional I don't know why but yeah so it was a really quick trip though I got everything I needed I didn't get anything exciting I just got like the normal stuff I get like cheese fruit crackers and some meats so when I get home I'll put together the board. I'm very excited. I haven't put together a charcuterie board in a while and we're both so tired. We stopped by 7-Eleven. I picked up an Alani New energy drink, but I get really nervous when I drink energy drinks because I feel like um, I get really jittery and anxious. So I'm not drinking this whole thing. I'm drinking like probably two sips and I'll let uh, Ida drink the rest. Okay. Hi vlog. I'm about to make the charcuterie board. So this is the cheese I always pick up. This is the trio sampler. And then we got some Gouda and some honey. Oh, oh, this is jalapeno and honey. Shiver. Shiver. How do you say this? Honey what? Shiver. Shiver. <laughs> Goat cheese milk. Okay, and then I always get this, this meat sampler. Get some rosemary to make it all pretty. And then some raisin rosemary crisps. Oh, this looks good. Um, and I think that's it. I already had the nuts from Target. And we have some fruit in the sink. And then this cracker sampler <laughs> that I got from Target. <laughs> oh my god. We have a fan back here. A fan, yeah. I just recording me recording. That's why I'm, that's why I'm laughing. Okay. Let's make this board. turned out. We got a lot going on. The figs, that was Ida's idea. We got the goat cheese, the trio, we got all of our meats. Yeah, you got the gist. So, we love a good Trader Joe's charcuterie board. It was, during, it was during like COVID. Yeah. And I was feeling like the, like Virginia. And we all what do you mean adaption? What, what do you mean? Adaption? Adaption? <laughs> You mean like a spinoff? No, like when you um, do you know how like um, they adapt the Hunger Games into a movie? Yeah. Yeah. I have no okay. idea. What yeah, no, I got it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quick step, water, water. <laughs> Run the water. Run the water. Uh, 
um, Ida, can you grab a sparkling water? Yes. It's um, it's it's by the it's where the cans are. It's it, I think there's one left. Yeah. I'm so happy that Jersey Shore video. Uh, I like anything Jersey Shore. You want to? Yeah, that might be good. Let's test it. Yeah, let's test it. So first, this is the Prosecco. Just pretend it's Prosecco. Mm -hmm. Mm, this smells good. Gingerbread, splash of lemonade, and straight vodka. Straight vodka. Nice. Mix them all together. You're a, you're a clean shot mm -hmm. and juice kind of girl. Ooh, this, be, this is going to be like raspberry lemonade. Oh my God. Ooh, this would be good. Yes, girl. That's <laughs> not you. More. We make shift with these drinks. <laughs> Look at Kelsey dancing in the mirror. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Guys, let's get the movie started. Okay, okay, let's do it. Come on, no time wasted. Okay. 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 Let's turn the lights off. Woohoo, movie night. I'm turning on all the lights. Set the mood. Mm-hmm, you know what? Why don't you go yeah. ahead and just put because some more in there? It's gonna Welcome be a long night. Welcome to the movie C5 block. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Did she, did she just turn off the lights? No, I did. <laughs> After a minute. This is your base? Okay. Oh, wait, I'm not holding my glass. I have to hold my glass. Doesn't your thing seem up? Cheers. 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 Here we go. Space. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. Um, that movie we watched last night, mm -mm, mm -mm, it was not it. Nope, that was a zero out of 10. I've seen the first two movies and although they were bad compared to normal movies, I, I like they were still bearable and like, I don't know, I feel like they were still okay. And they just did not care with this third one. But we still had so much fun and then after the movie we watched the new episode of love island because my other friend she's the one ida that was here that i was with the whole day she's the one that got me into love island so we watched love island and then we also watched this new show kelsey that was here too she got us into p valley i don't know if you guys have heard that show um but we liked it a lot so i have a new show to binge but anyway um today is the next day it's the next morning i'm getting ready to go run some errands and i think i'm gonna go visit my parents today because it's their anniversary this weekend so I'm gonna end the vlog here and just have kind of a chill weekend, kind of a low-key weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.